Hello, I'm Kirk Hansen, Executive Director of the Markala Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University. Our guest today is Richard Moran. Richard is the Chief Executive Officer of Accretive Solutions, a uh, national consulting firm that specializes in financial activities and the finance function. Richard is also a former partner uh, at Accenture. Uh, Richard, you've taken a considerable interest in how CEOs are dealt with uh, by the board of the organization and, and uh, have views on both uh, when CEOs ought to be hired and fired and when uh, and how CEOs ought to be told that they're being terminated. Right. Um, give us a sense and insight of where do ethical issues come up in this uh, potential termination uh, of uh, CEOs? CEOs. Well, um, as you know, Kirk, CEOs are always in the news. So how they're handled, you know, has a lot to do with uh, the public's perception of not only that board, mm -hmm. but of the whole company. So when a CEO is fired, the, the, the world is going to put a filter on how they view that company, whether it's HP or Yahoo or any company that's been mm -hmm. in the news lately. And a lot of times, um, the process of letting a CEO go is not handled very well. Mm -hmm. So what I've been trying to do is help educate organizations about how to do it better. Mm -hmm. And um, lots of times uh, a board of directors will say, the two most important things we do is hire and fire the CEO. Mm -hmm. And they're good at hiring the CEO usually because they bring in somebody to help them. They'll bring mm -hmm. in a search firm. All right. But they're not so good at terminating a CEO because they can't outsource that. Mm -hmm. So what, what I've been trying to do is help um, uh, educate organizations about how do we do it um, ethically, mm -hmm. how do we do it professionally, and how do we do it so that the organization doesn't suffer. What are the biggest ethical challenges in firing somebody? Well, um, th those challenges are true whether you're uh, a CEO or whether you're at the low end uh, rung of the organization. I, I think that um, the first thing is people should be warned. And um, I always think it's the irony here is that uh, most CEOs are pretty self-aware. Mm -hmm. So see, a CEO should never be surprised when, when they're let go because they're the ones who know um, how they've been doing. But I think whether you're the CEO or not, that you should be, um, you should be warned. But I think on, on, on a personal level, you should also know, uh, tell yourself the, the truth about how you've been doing mm -hmm. and so that you're not surprised. So the big thing is, is to be warned and then the second thing is for it to be handled professionally. So there's a lot of debates today about you know, sh can we fire people mm -hmm. through email, um, over mm -hmm. the telephone? The answer is probably not so much. I heard about one organization who was firing uh, people through Twitter. Mm. Uh, that's, that's probably not going to reflect real well on the organization because people will turn around and use Twitter mm -hmm. to show how heartless and how mm -hmm. unprofessional that whole organization is. You've been quoted about the recent firing of uh, a CEO of Yahoo here, that that seemed to be done uh, not in the proper manner. She was fired uh, by telephone. Yeah, yeah, she was fired by telephone and she didn't like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And she made that clear that she didn't like it. Do you and, agree with her uh, assessment? Yeah. She's, you know, she's a luminary in Silicon Valley. She's a well-respected CEO, mm -hmm. and um, she makes a lot of money, and uh, uh, so that, that saw cuts two ways. One is Carol probably should not have been surprised that that was coming, mm -hmm. but more importantly, the way it was handled, she was fired over the telephone. I think mm -hmm. she might have even been in her car, and mm -hmm. um, that's just not the way to, uh, to uh, handle someone who's given their heart and soul to an organization, and not, it's just not done professionally in that regard. Are there some cases where it's okay not to be compassionate uh, in that sense, but yeah, to well, abruptly fire yeah, somebody I mean, and do it by telephone? Um, if you break the law, mm -hmm. if you are uh, egregious in breaking the code of conduct for, for mm -hmm. that corporation, I think their, the code of ethics mm -hmm. is soon and sooner. Uh, <laughs> so get them out as fast, you know, there's anything that's where there's law being broken, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's your last day. What about the company's deliberation over when, for ethical violations, 
it's proper to fire someone. Is that is it clear when it's time for a person to go for ethical violations? Or? Well, as you know, there's a lot of gray areas on, mm -hmm. on the ethics front. Um, and I think a board um, and others will know, I mean, if, it, if it's, you know, one, uh, there's a lot of, uh, especially gray areas now, mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, uh, the Facebooks of the world and the Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, all of that is pretty gray and still being um, uh, cleared up. Mm -hmm. But I think that um, when, it, when it comes to ethics, um, and it's a gray area, I think there is deliberations that need to be made. But I think there's a decision that needs to be made mm -hmm. also. You just can't let it go. Mm -hmm. if, there's a, if there's a perceived ethical breach, it's time to uh, discuss it, make a decision, and move on. You said that uh, boards tend to do a better job of hiring uh, than perhaps they do at firing. Is there room for consultants that might help in termination, just like a, a, a yeah, hiring consultant or a search firm? Is there a firing <laughs> consultant or I don't know termination anybody, yeah, firm? I don't know if anybody who wants that job, <laughs> uh, but uh, they're probably... I think the movie Up in the Air... Uh, uh, I know, I know. That's Well, maybe there are people who have that job. <laughs> Um, is, but is it basically the board? The board has to do it itself. The board needs to have it. You know, needs to have it, its own gumption that if it's time, they need to they need to act on it. And and sometimes boards say, well, it's not a good time, mm -hmm. and you know, we're we have to get the 10k out there, or the 8k, or the mm -hmm. we're closing. You know, there's never a good time. If it's time, it's time to do it. Thank you for sharing your views with our uh, business ethics partnership, My our pleasure. gathering today of executives. Thank you.